Welcome to Ekran System. This short video shows you how to deploy Ekran System on Azure Cloud from Azure Marketplace. Before you can start, the following preconditions or prerequisites must be satisfied. Firstly, you need an Azure subscription. And you also need a Microsoft user account with permissions to create new resources using the subscription. Secondly, if you want to use an existing SQL server to store the application data, make sure that the SQL server is accessible over the internet. You will also need to provide the connection data for the SQL server and the credentials of a user of the SQL server with system administrator permissions. So make sure you have this information at hand. Okay, so let's get started. After logging into the Azure portal at portal.azure.com, first on the home page, click the create a resource button. And then in the search the marketplace search box, type in Ekran system. And then click the Create button to open the installation wizard. And first of all, on the Basics tab of the installation wizard, select the Azure subscription that you want to use from the drop-down list. And then create a new resource group by clicking on the Create New button. By the way, you cannot use an existing resource group from the drop-down list. Let's call ours Test Resource Group. And then select the region and click Next. On the Database Storage Configuration tab, you can choose whether to install a new SQL Server or use an existing SQL Server if you have one. If you choose to use an existing SQL Server, you need to provide the connection data and the credentials for it. And please note that the server name for an existing SQL server must be fully qualified. For example, myserver.example.com. On the other hand, if you choose to install a new SQL server, you have the choice of three different types of servers. MS SQL, PostgreSQL, or Azure SQL Database Server. To host the MS SQL or PostgreSQL server, a virtual machine will be deployed in the resource group and you'll be asked to define several parameters. To change the virtual machine size, you can use the Change Size button. Select the virtual machine size depending on the number of clients to be monitored simultaneously. If you chose to install the SQL server, you will be asked to define some parameters specific to the selected SQL server type. For MS SQL, you can select the size of the data disk and the locker disk that will be used by the server. You can also enter a custom port to which the server will accept connections. For PostgreSQL, you can select the type and the size of the data disk that will be used by the server. You can also enter a custom port to which the server will accept connections. 
For Azure SQL database server, you need to enter a name for the server. This name, along with the database.windows.net domain, will form the fully qualified domain name of the SQL server. The SQL server will be accessed over the internet by using this fully qualified domain name, so the name must therefore be globally unique. The final configuration settings that you need to define for the new SQL server are specified in the SQL server account. Note for PostgreSQL only the default user name Postgres can currently be used. When all settings on the database storage configuration tab have been defined, click Next. On the Application Server Configuration tab, you can choose whether to install the Application Server along with the SQL Server. This option is only available if you chose to install the SQL Server in the previous step and the type selected was MS SQL or Postgre SQL. If you choose to install the application server on a standalone virtual machine, recommended, you will be asked to define some parameters for the virtual machine. Select the virtual machine's size depending on the number of clients to be monitored simultaneously. Note, do not select the None option for the public IP address if you intend to access the virtual machine over the internet e.g. to be able to monitor Ecran system clients on-premises, the application server must be accessible over the internet. The domain name label field is required and you must enter a globally unique value in it. The final configuration settings that you need to define for the application server are the management tools, default user credentials and URL. The default username is admin, all in lowercase letters. You will use these credentials to log into the management tool. Note, please make sure that you do not forget these user credentials so as to be able to access the management tool later. When all settings on the application server configuration tab have been defined, click next. On the network configuration tab, you can make changes to the virtual environment to be created in the resource group, or simply use the default values. You also have the option to allow connections to the application server over the internet via certain ports. Allow port 9447 if you want to monitor clients on-premises. Allow port 443 if you want to access the management tool from an on-premises environment. Note, this option will only be available if the public IP address option in the previous step was not set to none. Note also, to monitor clients in the cloud in other resource groups or regions, you can choose between accessing the application server over the internet or configuring a VNet to VNet VPN gateway. When all settings on the network configuration tab have been defined, click Next. Finally, on the Review and Create tab, you can check all the settings you have defined and then start Ecran System Deployment by clicking the Create button. Before clicking the Create button, make sure you carefully read the terms of use. The deployment process will take between 30 and 50 minutes depending on the settings chosen. You can watch the progress on the Azure portal on the resource group page on the deployments tab. After deployment is complete you can see the resources created on the resource group page on the overview tab.
So that's it, you have now finished deploying Ekran's system and can start using it. To do this you need to access it by using the management tool. So, firstly, in the list of deployed resources shown, click on the virtual machine that you chose to install the Ekran system application server on during deployment. Note, Ekran server is the default name. Secondly, on the Overview tab in the Essentials section, copy the DNS name of the virtual machine. This name, along with the URL configured during deployment, can be used to access the management tool. Note, Ekran System, all in lowercase letters, is the default URL. So, for example, the full URL in this case will be my domain name label dot eastus dot cloud app dot azure dot com slash ecran system and thirdly and finally open your browser and paste this full URL of the management tool into the address bar. Note if you chose to open port 443 while configuring the deployment you will be able to access the management tool from your on-premises environment. Otherwise, you can only access the management tool from the virtual machine where the Ekran system application server is installed. That's it. Thank you for choosing Ekran system.